Hi everybody, it's Tatiana and I am coming with another book review. Today I will be reviewing Sula by Toni Morrison. This is my first Toni Morrison read. I've attempted to read a Toni Morrison novel in the past and that was Beloved and that did not go well. I caught myself attempting going to read it with a friend of mine who was assigned it for her class. But basically what I gathered at the point when I was trying to read it is that it just wasn't for me. Um, and I think for that during that time period, Toni Morrison novels overall just weren't for me because they all just seemed so sad and I could not get over the or get beyond what seemed to be so such so many depressing and just awfully sad moments to actually get into the story. So it didn't work for me. I guess there is a time when things are for you and when they aren't for you because I read Sula and I thoroughly enjoyed the story. I didn't necessarily love it because, again, it is that sad story. Uh, but I did enjoy the story and I found Toni Morrison's writing to be very lyrical and just poetic. It's so well written that... It was a, it was a story I couldn't help but pay attention to, and I could not I did not have a problem following along even though uh, there are some interesting things that happen with the sequence um, in the story. It's the story follows two friends, Sula and Nell, and it follows their story as friends together as well as their familial, gives you their familial backgrounds. And all of these stories come together to create a very well put together novel. With so it's a lot of characters in the novel, but I was able to follow through absolutely fine without getting confused. <laughs> um, one of the most, I guess to me, one of the most interesting parts about the story is the way that the the town that they live in got its name and the reference to it each time it's referenced. There are some uh, time jumps in the story where it gives you, she starts like each chapter with a specific year, but the information that you're given in the chapter builds uh, are things that happened before and after that year and build up to what's going on in the story or in their lives at the year or during the year that is focused on or that the chapter is in reference to. It's not a long book. It is 174 pages, I think. My copy is 174 pages, yes. Yeah. And the story begins and ends and you don't feel like you've missed anything. Everything is covered. It comes to the end of the story and you don't feel like there are things that are unresolved. There's realizations that happen. There there are dynamics between Nell and Nell and Sula that take place. All of that information is given and the information on some of the other characters as well that are very eccentric and interesting that but all of this information is given in 174 pages and it does not feel like it's you being you're being inundated with or you're being given too much information or that it's happening at such a fast pace that you can't keep up everything just works together and it works well and it's very well written I do want to read The Bluest Eye now. That is the book that everybody raves about when they read it. I don't know if I will try to tackle Beloved again. I kind of sort of want to just to see if that resonates with me differently now. If I'm able to finish it, that's proof that it resonates in a different way now than it did when I attempted to read it all those years ago. I have had this book on my bookshelf for quite some time, but... It's been sitting on my bookshelf because I had, when I bought it, I really wanted to read a Toni Morrison novel, and it was three ninety nine. So I said, okay, I will grab this, and even if I can't finish reading it, like I couldn't finish Beloved, it's only three ninety nine, and I just never picked it up. So I'm glad that I read it, and I'm glad that I feel like I've made an accomplishment 
by tackling the Toni Morrison novel, something that intimidated me so much before just because of the tone of the novel. If you have been intimidated by the Toni Morrison novel as I have been in the past, I think that this novel is a great novel to open the door and start reading Toni Morrison. And if you are able to get beyond this and get it and enjoy it, then maybe like me, you're ready for something else. That is the end of my review, and I hope you all have a good week, weekend, whenever you see this video. Peace out.